disappearing around the city. Steve Keeley is live at that home in North Philadelphia with more. Yes. Alex, we're with David Perez's grandmother, and she told me she had no idea what he was making in there. She's 85, and she'd been sick. I see your hospital bands. What, what did you think when agents told oh, you what was going on? I went upstairs in the bathroom, and I heard this boom, 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 boom on the door. I go, oh, my, my God, what's going on? But my grandson, he had a habit of doing, you know, when he got, would get, it, when I wouldn't open up the door, he would bang on the door, you know. And uh, I was figuring, oh my God, what's going on? So I come down to the steps, I come down to the front of the door, I put my hands up right away after you know all these policemen. And the guy down the street, Mazda, he said, there's no lady in there. Because they already had their guns and everything out, you know? So I put my hands up and I had my dog. My the pit bull looking at us right now. Yeah, yeah. It's my dog, right? And I said, please don't kill him. Don't kill him. <laughs> so uh, I, I said, I'll put my leash on him. He's not, he's not vicious. He's very gentle. Because I've had him since he was a baby. I can see that. So the... I get, then they, they like backed off, you know, and then uh, I told, uh, I said, I'll bring him out. So the, I guess it was the head guy, he said to me, um, take your dog, walk down the street. Mom, we're not looking for you. We already have the guy that we want. That was it. I didn't know any, I didn't know what, what was going on. He had me so buffaloed and so scared that I didn't know what to do. Did they tell you what was inside your house? They didn't know at that time what was in there. They had a warrant, and they waited, I think, a couple hours before they actually went in. And then they, they took all kinds of stuff out, guns, portable, I mean, powder, powder that I didn't even know what it was. And he had all kinds of stuff. Did you have any idea he was making those bombs that had been blowing up ATMs around the city? No, no, I had no idea he was doing anything like that. He was Mr. Businessman, you know, Mr. Smooth. But what he was doing, I had no idea. All he, I'm telling you, the way he, he told me, he would tell me, uh, I'm not going to use abusive language. Right. Told me to shut the F up and mind my business. It was none of my business what he was doing and things like that, but... When you heard that agents were saying that the whole block could have blew up and you were living on top of this stuff, what goes through your mind when you hear how much powerful explosives were in your little row house, 728 square feet? I didn't even know. I didn't know. I didn't know what he had. I knew it was coming in, but I didn't know. I didn't know what it was. Have you talked to your grandson since his arrest? No. All I did was he was when they had him over there in the van. Uh, I told him, no matter what, I still love you, but you shouldn't have done this to me. All right, Marcella, get back in your house, pet that nice doggy for us, and uh, thank you for talking to us. I'm sorry you went through this. Uh, I'm so sick. What can I say? I'm sorry. I didn't know what he was, what he, what he was up to. <laughs> He would wait till the middle of the night and sneak in. He would leave the, the fr front door open, turn the light out so nobody would see anything. He was sneaking. I can't, I can't tell you anymore. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. All right. Wow. All right, so for you people just joining us, that's Marcella Hernandez, 85, her grandson under arrest after a massive raid here Thursday. I talked to the next-door neighbor, says federal agents went in, delicately pulled out hundreds of M1000s, a uh, law enforcement source told me yesterday, and so many pounds of an explosive chemical that this whole block would have blew up. And in fact, the reason they waited till 4 p.m. to go in, look what's right out of Marcella's front door across the street, the Luis Munoz Marin Elementary School that's still in session. That's how much danger that was potentially here under a powder keg, and authorities thought 
it could harm kids in that schoolyard over there had something gone wrong. So they came in here, so much taken out that one of the agents close to this case told me that they have no idea where they can safely take all this and detonate it. They're probably gonna have to go to a quarry. 36-year-old David Perez has a detention hearing today in federal court. He's expected to waive that, and they're hoping he will cooperate and give idea how many of these M1000s that have been blowing up ATMs for over a year now, he has put on the street. And maybe he kept a record or knows who he sold them to if they're not blown up yet and they can start going after people in high numbers. But we saw two of them blown up last week, a week ago today, the Chestnut Hill, Ho Justine, I'm gonna go a little longer, the Chestnut Hill Hotel on Germantown Avenue on a week ago today, and then Thursday, an open Luke Oil convenience store on North Broad Street, why it was open, somebody went in and blew up an ATM, no one was hurt, cash didn't get taken out in either of those cases, but Alex, Mike, we have been talking about these ATM explosions and authorities think they got a source of who was making these bombs. They weren't brought in from China. They look like massive firecrackers. We've seen them on surveillance when one went off in an Allegheny Avenue convenience store over a year ago, and we saw it on the surveillance that the store manager told us and showed us about. So this guy is in custody. They said yeah. he had an explosive lab going on. In fact, they talked to a company that he ordered explosives from, and the company told federal authorities that the massive amount was extraordinary that had been ordered and sent to David Perez. I'll have more when I see you at 7. All right. Wow, and Gosh. what an interview.